What do you want, little baby? <sighs> no. Before we move on, I'm pretty sure I was gonna read the mail. Oh, okay. Excellent work, Sam. You've brought three way stations into the fold. The preppers are on the grid and the Cairo network is looking better than ever. We're planning to use a regional distro center as our next way station. But that'll have to wait. Got a priority task here. A mess in need of cleaning up. We need you to recover one of Lake Knot City's system servers. They sent it out for repairs and mules hit the transport on the way back. God damn it. The server contains validation data for a new delivery system we're deploying. Once in place, it will use the Cairo network to automate deliveries. To us, it's invaluable. To the mules, it may as well be a toaster. A toaster they'll happily tear apart for the Cairo crystals and rare earth metals inside. If we don't act quickly, we could lose that data. So get your ass to the mule's drop site, snatch the server, and bring it back to Lake Knot City. I'm putting the order in myself. Check your cufflinks for details. You can do that. Dang. We will do that? Which is probably cue for me to drop all of my cargo somewhere again. Mm -hmm. So that we don't get bothered by them as we're walking around their area. But mail! Holy gosh, that's a lot. William Lake, all about preppers. We made rounds of the local preppers when I first arrived here with Bridges 1. There should be some interviews floating around that the records team transcribed. Take a look if you get the chance. We were mainly sounding out the situation on the ground and trying to convince them to join the UCA, of course. But we already suspected they weren't the type to follow the herd. Why else would they be out here? Still, we found the odd community-minded soul among them. Not all were holed up in shelters by choice. Some were running from something. Others had just been born into the life. Getting the few we did to throw their lot in with the UCA was a pain in the ass, though. Didn't help that the chiral network wasn't up and running back then, either. All we could do was put the parts in place and promise they were going to work someday. And now they finally do, thanks to you. Could be the skeptics might finally come around now, that we can show as well as tell. You keep up the good work, you hear? Get us all back on the grid. Luden's fan. Sorry, Sam, know you're a busy man, but I need you to deliver something to a guy named Victor in Port Knot City. It's only right that he has it, not me. And it's unique, too, so Cairo printing's not an option. If you could do the honors, I'd be super grateful. From your house to Port Knot City? That's really far. I'll think about it. Tell Amelie we're true believers. Dear Sam, how's it going? Still heading west? We're rooting for you. We were part of the second group, so we never got to speak with Amelie face to face. Caught the occasional hollow message, but that was about it. Still, every little bit helped to keep us going. She's just like her mother. Tough, clever, easy on the eye, too. Won't lie and say I didn't notice. Can you not say that about my sister? <laughs> but what really resonated with us was that the fire she carries, that conviction, same as Bridget. Any one of us would have laid down our lives in service to her vision. I suppose this is all a long-winded way of saying you want to move on and meet her like we never got to. And when you do, tell her we're all still believers in the cause, and in her, and her mother. You'll do that, won't you? I forgot. People don't know my mom's gone. Why join the UCA? You still out there fighting the good fight, kiddo? I tip my hat to you for that. And for bringing an old curmudgeon his medicine. I'm doing a whole lot better for it. Much obliged. So in exchange for signing a contract with Bridges, I get meds and supplies delivered to my doorstep? Hmm. That's no different from the deal I had with Fragile Express. And while I may not have full use of this here network of yours, I can access the weather data and news I need to make life easier than before. All that without me having to join the UCA. So what incentive is there to do so? Because you want to have friends and be connected with people? Don't keep others waiting. Hey Sam, can't tell you how good it was to see you coming over the water on the boat. First time we've welcomed so much as a turd in, what, must be two years now. Some folks were even saying everything east of Ground Zero must have been wiped out completely. The occasional message drifted in from HQ, but people? Not a one. We'd have given up on the Cupid ever being finished on the second expedition. The whole shebang. And then you show up, and with a working Cupid to boot. Our knight in shining armor. Sorry. Don't mean to sound like I'm not grateful. I am. More than you know. Every single person here was waiting for someone like you to come along. And there'll be more waiting west of here. 
A lot more. You'd best go find them. Wait, so where's Ground Zero? Is that Capital Not City? Somewhere around there? Maybe we haven't seen it yet. I think that would make more sense. Engineer. Commencement of Evo or Evo Devo unit testing? I know it can't be easy out there all on your own, Sam, but we need you to stay strong. I've started a few experiments with the Evo Devo you brought me. So far, things are going pretty well. I'm not quite at the stage where I can perfectly recreate objects, but I suspect that's only because the chiral network's coverage is still limited. The more places you bring online, the better my results, most likely. Anyway, I'll be submitting regular reports on my progress to Bridges. Rest assured, I'll keep at it. Incidentally, I've taken an interest in the Audra deck lately. These days, people tend to associate them with BBs or think of them as BT detectors, but they were originally designed as more all-purpose scanners for the detection of people in various objects. Seems they've undergone quite a few changes over the years. By all accounts, many of the original features were cut at some point. One such feature would allow users to project holograms, which could be pretty useful, and another would utilize chiral connections to reconstruct past data for present-day applications. I don't believe these features are lost forever, though. If we keep expanding the network, someone's bound to take the initiative and create new and improved versions of them. Anyway, I've taken up enough of your time, Sam. We should catch up in person one day. Sure. It's kind of mind-blowing how every single one of these mails are so long. Everyone's so long-winded. You've got to go the extra mile. Thanks again, Sam. You really came through for us today. Now, you can tell me to mind my business if you like, but I couldn't help but notice that you've been getting better delivery evaluations lately. Looks like you know what you stand to gain if you go the extra mile, or do you? The Bridges Evaluation System will see you properly rewarded for providing that extra bit of service to make people happy. Heh, <laughs> speaking of happy, I just remembered the time you first came here, after crossing Ground Zero. Oh, so I guess we have seen it. Is it that gigantic crater? True, successfully delivering cargo to its destination is your job, first and foremost, but people are demanding. They don't just want their shit carried from A to B, they want a little more, you know? Special treatment. Something that'll put a smile on their faces. <sighs> like what? You want me to take you on a dinner and a date? Hey, I get it. It's a lot more work for you, tracking down lost cargo, returning items to their rightful owners, and it's not really part of the job description either. But you better get used to it, because standards are changing, and people are only going to expect more from their porters. Anyway, it's usually worth your while. Going above and beyond is a good way to rack up plenty of likes, and hell, sometimes you even end up doing it without realizing you did. I'm serious. Next time you complete an order, take a closer look at your results. See if there isn't a symbol next to your likes which indicates that you got them for performing optional extras. You might be surprised. It may all seem like a hassle right now, Sam, but you can never have too many likes. <laughs> Don't know about that. I might get oxytocin poisoning or something. Oh, they classified into like important mail and stuff. This is hilarious. He sent me three mails in a row that are like multi-paragraph and I didn't reply a single thing. <laughs> what does he think about me? One thing to note is that everybody has a star rating, our connection level with them. I don't think we have five stars with any single person right now. Probably if we want that, we would have to do deliveries, extra ones and all that. Maybe it's worth going back to do some of these. If we get a bike again. Where's my bike? I need a bike. For interviews, I think I'll read it back in the private room. Yeah, let's make a save here. So where did you want me to go pick up your server from the mules? Just remove all these markers. Here? Oh, that's not too far. I could do that right now. Is there a watchtower around here? Yes, there is. Perfect. Wonderful. What the heck is this line? What is that line? <gasps> is that a road? No! Is it? I gotta go check it out. Okay. Can I put down my stuff here? Do I have anything that can be classified as cargo? Oh, yes. Memory chip data. We found this earlier in the BT area. I just 
about giving up on this. I owe you one. That's it. Cool. Okay, so this is like additional text readings. Oh my god, that's a lot. Yeah, interview Thank stuff, we'll read it back in the private room. Now, can I recycle the boots that were broken? No. Do I want to recycle anything else? Probably not. I think we're okay for now. Why is everybody just hiding in their shelter? Delivering not seeing it, people. When was the last time I saw a person in the flesh? Thank you for your continued support. I don't even know. Every person has so many materials. We should just use all of them to make roads around us and stuff. That'd be good. Can you put this on the clip or something? Mm -hmm. I don't think we even need smoke emitting decoy cargo. <laughs> if we just deposit everything. Oh, frick, it's in the private locker right now. What am I doing? Do I have anything that counts as cargo? Not really, right? I don't think we even need this many grenades, really. The hematic ones. Yeah, maybe I'll put some of them away. Watch me get pummeled by BTs as soon as I do this. <laughs> don't need ceramics. Oh, but if I put it here... No, I think I should carry this, because... This is in this facility with a craftsman. I might forget to bring it back if I don't have it on me right now. Okay. Sure. I don't think anything on me counts as cargo. To my knowledge. And it's not too heavy? I think we're good here. Anything we want to make? Bola gun? Oh, I want to make a container spray. I don't know what happened to my other one. Must have dropped it. Hmm. Okay. Now, do we have... Oh, hold on. Thank you for your contribution. <laughs> you saw that there were standard orders here. You want me to go to the engineer? We can do that. You want me to go to the elder? Hmm. A bit harder. Actually, you want me to go to the middle of the mountain and then go to the elder. What the hell is that? There's something there, too. Food ration. Um, hmm. No, I'll come back and think about this later on. Let's focus on the server for now. So we have another mule mission today. Infiltrate into their base. Is that a generator over there? Would love to charge my power skeleton again. Weapons restrictions lifted. Yeah, somebody wants a power generator here. Right over here. Is everybody else using bikes here, or are we all just trying to power our power skeleton? Oh, look, bridge. Oh, lovely. And there's a watchtower right here. Perfect. This is amazing. People don't seem to upgrade structures, though. I wonder if it's even worth it. So far, I feel like I haven't really seen anyone that's been upgraded. Hmm. Ooh, you can add timefall resistance at level 3. That's fancy. Anyway, just want to use it. Just do a 360. Never hurts. Wow. It's a post box there. <gasps> they have a car! What? Can I have that car? Oh my god. 
Okay. Yeah. Right, so the tip they're giving me is that smoke emitting decoy cargo can be thrown to misdirect them. If they're all in a car, then that's a little bit difficult for me to um, mess with because I can't individually go up to them and stealth it. Mm. Maybe this time, all I can do is grab the server and get out of there. Yeah. Well, we'll see. I feel like I don't want to use this bridge here because it's not close enough to the post box. Do I know the area? I'm already in their area. Okay. Yeah, we can check out the bridge while we're here. Hmm. Apparently it's right over the hill. Is that why there's so many floating particles there? Because of the road? <laughs> this ladder is even better than the one I made. Yeah, look at that. That's awesome. Hey. You want to do some scans? I don't know what controls when it does scans. Just did it. Hey, don't think they cared about me. When they do the scan, there is like this initial wave, but then it bounces back. When it bounces back, is that when I'm supposed to do my scan to counter it? Oh, I don't have any ladders right now, do I? I do have a gun, let's not forget that. And strands, as usual. Don't have a ladder though. Let's just try to go in normally here. There is a patrolling car, and there is a guy right there. My goal is to grab the server and just book it. I don't think we even have time to look around. Maybe we can get that memory chip? That's a memory chip, right? Or is that like a crypto bio? I don't know. Oh, we really need a ladder here. Mm. Unfortunately, I don't have one. Sorry, BB. Hang in there. Okay, we'll hide behind the rock for now. You've got to be joking me. Already? <laughs> I don't want to kick him. <laughs> yeah, is that cargo? Smoke grenade? I don't think so. What does kicking him do then? Making sure that he faints? Oh, that wasn't a good start. So did that take blood or ammo or what? Yeah, I only have 13 more ammo. I don't know how to get more. How about we just go in now? I think that's the patrol car. If we can wait until it passes, that would be for the best. They can still see me visually. I didn't have any cargo. They still cared about me. That car. That car is highlighted. Oh, frick. Shoot. Whoa! What the hell are you doing? I didn't see the guy. I thought there was nobody here. Oh, no. Kind of alerted everybody. Oh god, oh god. Okay, let's uh... <laughs> we did it. It's fine. Yes. System server. This is 50... Five, whoa, freaking, wait. Oh, 15. 15 kilograms. Anything else I want? The gun? 
Could I take it? How do I get more ammo? That's what I'm not too sure about right now. The film director. Okay, I'll take this because I don't know who this is. And then probably the rest of this. I'll call it a day. And once we book it out of here, we're just gonna book it, okay? There is a memory chip though, which I'm kind of curious about. But we'll see if we can get it. Let's go. Bye! Did we get it? I think I got freaking cargo instead. Oh no. Oh well, we'll just have to go then. <laughs> whoa, whoa! That's new. Hey, I don't want to hurt you guys. Ooh! Shit! We gotta fight back, I think. I'm not even looking at where I'm going right now. That's really dangerous. And probably not a good idea for me to wade through the water either. Hold on. I gotta fight back. Oh! What the hell? Okay. Consciousness gauge. Oh, I'm being electrified and stuff. Holy shoot. What's going on? Oh, I think we should just run. We might want to zigzag it too because they're throwing spears at us. I could have gotten them, I think. But I prefer running away, if that's a thing. Did I lose my cargo? Hey, just leave me alone, okay? Are you done? Shoot! Are you done? My god! Oh, where am I going? I gotta go. Am I even walking out of their area right now? I am. Okay, that's good. Are you done? Are you done now? I think so. One of them is unconscious, one of them is bound. Is that what that means? Well, that went very, very poorly. That truck was my undoing, pretty much. I know, right? Oh, someone gave me an additional light for my climbing anchor. Hmm. So something happened there just now. It said something about my consciousness gauge, and my blood levels turned yellow. Probably because their little shock thingy hit me. Hmm. I think I should probably try to get out of here soon because otherwise their friends might come back. But hey, we got the server, right? <laughs> that would be hilarious if all that time I lost the server. Ah, there was a little bit of damage on it. To the cargo, but not the container. How awful. How about this one? There's a film director around here. That's not around here. That's really far. What's that? Oh, frick, that's a sign. Vog? What the hell's a Vog? Oh no, are there gonna be new enemies? Frick, man! What the hell's a Vog? Well, I'll keep the lost cargo on me for now. Why don't we get back to the Craftsman, pick up whatever we need for Port Knot City, and just head back? My lord! That was... See, it's always it always comes back to this, I think. I think I can defeat people. I think I can be on the offensive. And every single time because of that, I do worse. If I had just focused on stealth, 
I think I would actually do better. But, you know, hindsight is 2020. No. If I'm trying to go back to the craftsman... Are they still trying to get me? No music now, please. I'm still trying to get out of here. Where am I trying to go? This way. Oh, lord. We're starting to see a lot of structures around here, though. Multiple roads, multiple bridges. Wonderful. Could you imagine if we didn't have the power skeleton that time? That would have been really bad. What? Someone stole my cargo? Did I even have that many ceramics on me? Guess I did. I really just wanted to get the memory chip, but I think because of that... <laughs> yeah, that was also the other factor. That made it so that I was kind of blindly running through their place. Oh well. You win some, you lose some. And I wouldn't consider this a full loss. We still made it out of here with the server mostly intact. It's just that it was kind of hectic in the end, that's all. <laughs> scan. Bridges ID. Verifying ID. Inhabitants clear. 1. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Let's... I don't think we can deliver... Well, the photo album? I haven't met the film director yet, so I feel like I want to keep it. Just in case if we do. So what orders do you have for me again? Engineer? Uh, there's another mule camp right here, so I don't really want to go there. But we could, if we just stay outside of it. Yeah, technically we could. Less than 50% damage, one or more. Keeping in mind that right now we have 63 kilograms already. To the Elder? Probably not. Because that's further out. This one for sure. And then... <sighs> engineer? Alright. Fine. Mm -hmm. Oh, I need ladders. I need at least one ladder with me, I think. Just to have it on me, not that I'm thinking this specific trip will need a ladder. Just carry it on my back. Alright. Auto arrange. Order assigned. Hmm. Can I rest for three seconds? What's the rest button again? Oh, it just feels like... There's so many things to do. Oh, I get some stamina back by doing this. Yeah, that seems healthier than constantly drinking energy drinks. Maybe this is how I swim with my BB? <laughs> it's hilarious that we're doing this with a whole stack of cargo on our back. Tiring, isn't it? I know, man. <sighs> yeah. Let's see if I can't plan a route here. That stupid memory chip ruined me. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. I blame everything on the memory chip. It's not my fault. <laughs> okay. What I'm thinking is we'll go here first and then we'll wrap back around to go to Lake Knot City. These are places that we've been to before. I don't imagine this will be too difficult, especially because we know where the mule camps are and aren't. There is some time fall here though, so that's a little bit concerning. But we also have a road here. That's really nice. Yeah? Yeah, I think we'll be fine. Alright. 
Hey, whoa, check out that road. That's the one that somebody else built, right? How come it's floating in the sky? Mine was just on the ground. I'm still trying to walk back to the engineer right now. I thought I was gonna cut this out, but check this out. Too bad the engineer is all the way over there, so I don't think we need to use this road. But dang. What's going on beneath it, though? It's got all these oily tentacle looking things. I don't like it. Hmm. Yeah, what is that? That doesn't look like the ground. Oh, sorry, BB. We'll get out of here soon. Just a second. Checking the cargo stored in various locations. Hmm. Entrusted cargo. Okay. The engineer is... over there. Wait. <gasps> There's people here. But they're not mules. Hello? Yeah. Are they friendly? <clears throat> they don't seem like they're attacking me. Uh. Today's a good day. <laughs> Porters. Porters are freelance delivery personnel. They do not steal people's cargo and do not pose any threat. So be sure to offer a friendly greeting when you encounter one. Keep on keeping Keep on. on. Oh. Sorry, I can't give you any more likes. Oh! Thank you! Oh! <gasps> that guy just gave me a hematic grenade! <gasps> oh! That's really nice! We can come across neutral people here. Um, I'd love to give you something, but I don't know what I can give you. <laughs> Would you like some monster energy? Thanks so much, man! Oh, wow! Meeting another porter around here. I'm really happy about that. <laughs> They're not even traveling on the road, just like me. Were they always around here, or are they attracted here because there's a road? Wow. I thought this was going to be a simple trip to the engineer that I was going to cut out, but it's turning out quite eventful. It's kind of ominous that you could see what they were carrying, though. I know that's just like a byproduct of the scan, but it kind of feels like, hey, do you want to steal it for yourself? <laughs> that's the feeling I get from it. Uh, Lake Knot City. Sure, I'll take it. Any lost cargo along the way is fine. I don't know why I'm trying to climb over this thing, when I probably should have just walked around it, but hey. The engineer should be close. I don't think we've walked in this particular stretch of land before, though. Yeah, I'm just kind of walking out of the mule area. But he is pretty close. Fairly close. Oh, look, if you look in the grasslands there, there is another section of the road that's been built too, and that part is also floating. So maybe my part, because I picked one that was really close to the home base. That's why it was still on the ground, but normally... Oh, wait! Hold on. It's this one, right? <gasps> if it's floating above ground, then does that mean that mules can't get me, even though we're in the mule area? That we gotta really try to check out, but I guess the first thing we should do right now is get to the engineer. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm not sure right now because we haven't seen too many roads, but if all of them... If all of them float upward... Uh-oh. Do I have... A... Ladder? I do, but I'm not sure if it's gonna be long enough. And actually, I don't think it is. So how am I gonna get across there? By using that rope? Ah, no! By using that bridge that I should have seen from a mile away. What would I do without people's help? Seriously. Oh, I think that's the container repair spray I dropped earlier. It must have been back in the BT area. I can't imagine playing this offline. It just seems like it would be so difficult. And it's so nice now. This sort of collaboration among players and like half multiplayer gameplay really, really appeals to me from the point of view of someone who grew up as an only child. 
because I distinctly remember growing up thinking that, oh my god, I want to play this game and that game, but I don't have a brother or a sister, so... There was a lot of multiplayer things I missed out on completely. And sometimes it's not even about the multiplayer, but... Maybe if I had an older brother who was into gaming, then he could show me some older games and whatever. Something like that. But I never got a chance to have that kind of thing. So even now, when I come across games where there's a lot of collaboration, even if it's just like with NPCs, that kind of stuff makes me really, really happy. <laughs> Especially because these days, I play single-player games like 99.9% .9 of the time, and... Even if I play a multiplayer one with strangers, it's like, well, I gotta hope that I don't run into anybody that's awful, and all sorts of considerations. Hey! I'm back! Okay. I got that for you. Newly developed tools. Make good use of it. Delivering cargo. Hey Sam, how's it going? It's all right. Should be pretty good condition. Well, the cargo's in great condition. Thanks. I'll just skip all this. Oh! Whoa, hold on! I thought this was like a non-consequential standard order, but he got me power skeleton level 2. Cool. Smoke grenade level 2. That's what the newly developed tools are? Oh. So, so far, from what I can tell, the... Hmm. Even if we don't get story content from these standard orders, we get new tools. Is that what's going on? That's cool. Thanks. Until next time. Then that really means it's something that we shouldn't be skipping out too much on. But the problem is, we don't know which ones give us stuff. Do I have lost cargo for you? Yes, I do. Or do I? No, this is for the film director. This is for Lake Knot City, back at home. Yeah, okay. Right now, all we gotta do is go back to Lake Knot City. Now, the power skeleton thing, is that something I have to make? Yes, it is. Improved version of the power skeleton level 1. Cargo carrying capacity will be dramatically increased. This model is also more energy efficient. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely something useful. I'm only making one, right? Yeah, okay, good. Oh, hold on. I think I just carried it on my back just now, instead of equipping it. Does that mean that I have to throw away my level 1 one? Equip. It seems like it looks the same as my old one. But now I got the level 1 one on top, right? Is that the level 1 one? Where is it on my list? I completely lost track of it. Oh, not carried. Power skeleton level 1. I should carry it. Yeah. Carry or place in my private locker for now. Probably when I get back to the capital city, that's something I can donate for somebody else. Yeah, why don't we- why don't we make some donations? Can I donate it right here? Other people seem to usually donate stuff like grenades, which is really useful and needed. Because that's the thing that'll determine if we live or not. But if we can put a... No, I can't put the power skeleton here. Hmm. Well, I'll worry about that once we get back to the capital, then. I think I probably gotta do some stuff with bringing it out and whatnot. Here's a light for you. Oh! Look at how many people are delivering materials! We're all really getting this road going on. Weapons restrictions lifted. I don't think we need to keep track of where the mules are, but just for insurance purposes. Look at this. There's bridges everywhere, roads everywhere. This wasn't here when we first came here, so that's really nice to see. Whoop. So if I'm right, 
Does this mean that all I have to do is get to the road and I'll be safe? Let's hope so. I won't even have to worry about my power skeleton running out of energy. Need to drink something. Oh. Oh, sorry, Sam. You were super thirsty. Why don't we go out of our way to use this ladder here? Everybody gets a like. Thank you. All right. I think we're already in their area right now. And, or maybe not. Maybe we're right outside. But it doesn't really matter either way. Because we're on the road now! Uh, they just try to scan me, right? Mm, I didn't leave a scan print. Is it because I'm on the road right now? See, that place actually has a memory chip too, but right now I'm kind of scarred about mule camps and uh-oh, I think they're attacking me already. It's totally okay though, because I can just sprint with my power skeleton and I don't think they'll even be able to catch me. Oh! <laughs> I was super close, what the heck? Maybe we should be running on a zigzag or something. Oh, but only this little strip in the middle here is an energy zone, not the entire road. I don't think they can get me though. They don't have power skeletons. And look, we're back here already. Metals, I'll take that. I don't think the paver needs them right now, but I'll check. Because this is level one. Oh, is it because the paver keeps going by itself? Because I was under the impression that we would need a new paver for every little section of road that we want to make. But maybe what we need to do is really just make one paver. Uh, hey, this is like somebody else's paver. What the heck? I thought this was mine. Couldn't really do anything about it. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah. Hmm, I guess somebody else has overrode mine for some reason. But my wash tower is still here. Okay, so I guess I'll give the medals to the wash tower. Since I can't seem to add anything to that paver. Or? Upgrade structure. Scan surroundings. Customization slot added. Yeah, whatever. Just throw it all in here. <laughs> and... No, no, no. You know, we're like 15 hours in, but I still get confused by this menu sometimes. <laughs> it's okay once you get used to it, but I feel like it's not the most intuitive possible. Okay. Well, I'm kind of mad that they replaced my paver, but hey, it's all for the common good, the greater good. As long as there is a road here, as long as there is a functioning paver. It doesn't really matter. It's fine. Okay. Well, I'm back here now, finally. Peter Englert. A humble request for pizza. Who even is this guy? I've never met him before. Zero connection level. My dear Mr. Sam Bridges. It is an honor to make your acquaintance. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Peter Englert. After hearing so very much about you, all good, I hasten to add, I simply could not resist the urge to initiate a correspondence. My request is of such great import that I dare entrust it only to the man who delivers. My sister, bless her heart, has been feeling under the weather, and I fear there is only one thing that might restore the color to her cheeks. Pizza. I wonder if you might be so kind as to collect some from Lake Knot City and deliver it to our humble abode. I am more than aware of the gravity and urgency of your westward journey, but if you could find it in your heart to squeeze us in, I would be ever so grateful. Oh, and my dear sister is something of a ham lover. Please bear that in mind if you decide to oblige me. <laughs> How about Hawaiian pizza? Pineapple and ham? <laughs> Thank you. Welcome to Lake Knot City. Well, we are in Lake Knot City, so I'll think about it. Probably we'll find the order 
when we get back to the terminal here. I don't even know this guy though. How do you get my number? Or whatever you need. My email address? My chiral network email address? Hey everybody! Welcome, Sam I am back! Again! You guys keep making me run all over the place. First of all, you can have the lost cargo. Wait, did I just entrust it? I hope not. Because I'm pretty sure one of them was for the film director. Hey Sam, good to see you. Guys like you make me proud to be part of Bridges. Thank you, Sam. Yeah, yeah. No. I delivered the right one, I think. Oh, frick! I didn't trust it to somebody else. Oh, well. That's okay, maybe. I kind of roughly know where that guy is. But even if not, hopefully we'll just find another cargo with him. Stay safe. That guy was super out of the way, though, so I don't know if we'll even ever go there. Well, I don't know where he is anymore, unfortunately. It's probably like something like this. You can tell it's something from the map, but we're not really sure what exactly. It's okay. We'll find him again someday. Or maybe if we really want to, we could pick up lost cargo from somebody else. Yeah. Uh, is this all for you? I think so. See, this is what I mean by getting confused by the menu. I didn't want to do that, but I accidentally did it. Because <laughs> I wasn't paying enough attention. Welcome, welcome. The Harrod man said to expect you. Aha, uh -huh. you've got the server. Here, let me have a look at it. It's a little bit roughed up. A tad. Nice. The great deliverer comes through again. The server's in perfect condition. It's a real relief to know all our records are safe. Thank you so much. I'm really glad to hear that. <laughs> Especially because the way we got that server was kind of... <laughs> Actually, it's a miracle that there was only 6% damage on it. <laughs> it really is. So I'm happy about this. Whatever. Still got an S. <gasps> Sam, I've added a reverse trike to the list of supplies you can fabricate. Lake Knot said he was kind enough to provide the blueprints as thanks. I'd tell you all about it, but, uh, didn't you used to have your own? I did! Same deal. Two front wheels, one rear, battery powered. Fitted with an auto charging unit that kicks in when not in use. Requires skill to drive over obstacle strewn terrain. Uh. Best suited to long flat stretches, yada yada yada. We're working on securing you another vehicle, so you can look forward to that, too. Awesome! Can you get me a truck? Because while having a bike is really nice, it still means that I have to carry cargo on my back. I think there is an option to put it on my bike, but still, you know what I mean? If we had a truck, we can put everything on the back, and that would be just oh, amazing. Oh, another one. Long range. How's that different? Higgs particles. Wow, that's awesome! Was that what was in the server? I'm glad we got it back then. Food samples! Heck yeah. Are you all happy? Thank you, thank you. Thanks, Sam. With that data, we can finally move forward with our plans for the new automated delivery system. I'll tell the boys to start testing the bots right away. Now you'll need to take it to the distro center south of Lake Knot City. Check the delivery terminal whenever you're up for more work. The preppers had some things to say about Fragile. You sure we can trust her? That business with Higgs. Thought I told you she hates him with a passion. Enemy of my enemy as far as I'm concerned. Don't take my word for it though. Just ask her and judge for yourself. I'd like it or not. We need her help. She is helpful, but in this world, it's hard to trust people. Sam, it's fragile. Hello. I hear you brought three preppers into the network and delivered everything they needed. 
That's some good work. Long as we're shooting the shit. You mind telling me what the deal is with you and Higgs? Been hearing stories, huh? I'll tell you all about it. In person. Meet me at the distro center, south of Lake Knot. You're headed there anyway, right? Good work. Why do we gotta go there like that when you can just come to me? Because I know you can teleport to me. You're just not doing it. Alright. First of all, let's make a bike. Or they call it a trike. What's the difference between the normal one and the long range one? An improved version of the reverse trike. Two large battery units have been added to the cargo shell. This reduces... Hold on. Hey! <laughs> I need to read the thing. Reduces the cargo capacity, but increases its range. This can do boosts, wheelies, jumps, all of which can be used to traverse difficult terrain. Beware, however, that the battery will drain very quickly when the trike is in water. Oh. The cargo capacity is lessened. But I never use the cargo capacity on the other bike anyway, so I don't think I'll notice it. Let's do the long range one then. Oh, that's awesome. Heck yeah. Private locker management. We can totally make another road. This is the stuff I accidentally took out earlier. I just stuffed it all back into my private locker. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, cool. Cool. What orders you got for me? Standard orders. Back to the engineer. Man, these are all like very... I don't know, it's, it's kind of repetitive. It's like... Go to the engineer, go to the elder, and then back to the engineer, and then back to the capital city, blah blah blah. I just don't know if we'll come across these people that often. Well, first of all... Oh, hey, what the heck? This one's so close. Let's do this one. Material collection and delivery. 288 kilograms. Is this one of those ones where we have to collect a whole bunch of, like, lost stuff? There's no briefing on it. Hmm... Deliver ceramics. 320! That's a lot of ceramics, isn't it? Probably more than I can carry right now. But I'll still do it. <laughs> yes, I do have a bike. It's fine. Or, well, it should be fine. Yeah! Can we make this a different color? It seems like we can. But maybe not here? Hmm. Well, actually, before we head out again, I would love to rest in my private room, do some reading. If that's possible. Hey, we got some ceramic right here! Do you want this kind of ceramic? <laughs> Auto arrange a little bit. Is there anything I can just take away? These bola guns. Like, this one only has eight more ammo, so I feel like, well, maybe I just want to take out one of them, because do I really need both guns? No, I'm thinking maybe not. If we have to kill more than 14 mules in one time, that's a lot. And all these hematic grenades too, including the one the porter guy gave me. This is damaged, so I think we should keep it. So that we can use it. But some of these other ones... Maybe I'll put away some of them. Yeah, like that's, that's a lot of hematic grenades. Especially since my philosophy right now is to avoid them, I don't think we need to carry that many. Yeah, are we okay? Okay. Not actually heading out just yet. Wow, fancy bike! Hey, I never figured this out, but how do you give a like to my bike? Name's Sam. So you can't like it. Did someone just make a new road? Getting all these green text updates about roads and stuff. All the time. Just want to go back and recharge my batteries a bit. And do some readings. 